Hi everybody, welcome to DinRailTerminalBlocks.com video blog. Uh, today I wanted to go over jumpers. We had some issues where a couple of customers over the years have mentioned that their jumpers were just falling out of their assemblies. So the jumper here goes right in the top of the blocks. There's two jumper ports, one there, one there, in each block. And they were saying that they were just setting them in there and then they were just falling out. Well, obviously, if they're falling out, it's not going to make a very secure connection. So the issue here was they weren't being pushed in properly. But, you know, if you've never done it before, there's no way for you to know. So let's, uh, I figured it'd be good to do a little video blog and show people that, that didn't know. So this jumper, you can see, is just above flush with the blocks, just barely sticking out. That means it's a nice, secure connected. It's being pinched down in there. Each one of these has a couple of prongs and it gets pinched, right? So it's like this and it gets pinched. So it makes a nice, secure, constant connection. Um, and once it's in there, it's not going to fall out. It's not going to vibrate out. It's not going to shake out. So with the smaller blocks, this is a DK4N assembly. So that's a 22 to 10 gauge wire that it handles and it's a 30 amp. So this isn't really big. Um, I mean, you can handle some serious stuff, but the size isn't that big. So I can actually just take this with my thumb, press it in, no problem. It doesn't hurt, doesn't bother me. You can actually probably heard that click a little bit. You can definitely feel it once it gets in there and it's cinched in. So now they're both pretty much flush with the block. Um, the issue is once you go to larger blocks. So this is our DK10N block. This is our red black assembly, which the assembly kits comes with eight of these jumpers. Um, which is really popular, really cool, especially for solar stuff. Um, you can see there's a jumper in there with the red blocks. And that one's just above flush. So that's where we want it. That one's secure. That thing's not, not going anywhere. Um, this one, if you set it in there, it sticks up like that. So you know that one's not in there right. This one, I could push this in with my fingers, especially if I used two of my thumbs, um, and it would go in. But if you're going to be doing a lot of them, not sure you really want to be doing that, I use the back of the screwdriver. So especially if it's mounted, you can just take the back of the screwdriver and push it in and pop it in. Or if this is loose and you're making it on your desk before you mount it, um, you can also just take it and I'm just going to press it down on the glass table here. And that one is nice and flush now, as you can see. But the other thing you can do is you can just press it that and just make sure that's nice and snug. Now the other thing, um, so that's how you install them. Um, same thing with 10 pole jumpers. These are just two two pole jumpers which obviously press in easier. Um, you can take a flathead screwdriver and there's a little notch on the top of each one of these. right? So you can pry a little bit here and pry a little bit on the other side and just took two of those and it popped it right out. So you can see where those holes are that this flathead screwdriver fits really nice in there, okay? And it can just pop it right out. So this is kind of like a medium size. Um, I'd have to look up and tell you, maybe I'll throw it in the comments below what size this is. Um, screwdriver, just so you have a good idea. Because this one is the biggest that really fits in there really nice and can pop it out. So that's how you take it out if you ever need to disassemble anything. And that's how you put it in. So uh, you'll definitely know when it's snug, it's not going to fall out on you. It's going to be um, make a really nice tight connection. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know below. Check out our uh, website, dinnerailterminalblocks.com, and uh, we're happy to help you with any of your assemblies, any of your custom installs. Um, we can make it work for you. So give me a shout. Thanks.